I'm here with the members of the Noise Revival Orchestra. They're going to tell me their names and uh, what instruments they play. And we'll start with you. How long have you been playing the cello? How did you get together with all these people? And, and where was your start? Tell them the truth. <laughs> um, I started playing cello when I was four, so I've been playing for a long time now. And um, I, pretty recently over the summer, I started playing with the Noise Revival Orchestra. And actually, Nathan is better at telling the story, so I'll let him tell it. Well, they like picking on you. I actually <laughs> met her. Well, Alexa knows the story actually a little bit better than me. So I'll pass it on. I don't know the story at all, Nathan. <laughs> Well then, then we'll start with you. <laughs> How did you hook up with the, the noise rival? Um, oh, actually, I was with my grandpa at a coffee shop, and he's like 90, so he has really bad hearing. So we were talking really loud, um, and you kind of have to repeat things a lot before he, you know, gets it. And Nathan over here was eavesdropping, I guess, on our conversation, and we were talking about music and how I play the violin. And um, as I was leaving, he was just like, hey, I have this group, the Noise Revival Orchestra. Um, we have a show soon. Um, and so I played on that show, and then I just sort of stayed and I'm a part of the group now. Okay, and you, how was your, what's your connection? Uh, Josh told me about a, a friend of his that needed a percussion player. And I've known Josh for a while, uh, just kind of buddies for a couple of years now, did a few recordings together. And, and now uh, this is really the first time uh, I'm playing in front of people with the band. Well, there's only one of me, so you're play playing in front of a person. Exactly. <laughs> and Josh? Um, well, me and Nathan, we kind of have a, we got a bit of a history. Like, I met him at a roadhouse and flew And you didn't run? Uh-oh. No. It, it was a man crush situation. Yeah, it was one of those kind of things. It was kind of this mutual, like, love-hate rivalry things. You know, we were, we were both in bands. We, we play around, I think. I mean, there was, like, that friendship thing. We were also trying to show each other up a little bit. And we did it by trying to write better songs, and he did it by adding a whole bunch of people into his band. <laughs> and writing better songs, too. So. But no, it was, uh, uh, but, no, now we're, uh, now we're on the same team, and uh, it's, uh, it feels good. It, it, it seems like it was kind of meant to be. It took most, most of a decade to do it. And the flute. Um, I just met Nathan randomly at a show, and he told me that I look like I play the flute. Turns out he was right, and uh, I've been playing since I was in seventh grade, and uh, kind of stopped playing for about seven years, and then I started again to play with the Noise Revival. So that's that's the story. And the piano slash trumpeter. Oh uh, well. Me and Nathan are on a professional table tennis team. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at the visual. <laughs> no, I, I you know, play with a lot of bands, the same thing, kind of like him too. I haven't been in town as long as uh, Josh has to be able to know Nathan from being in Austin, but I like this the whole music network thing. is really cool to be able to play with him as well as other people. So it's just part of being in Austin is how I get to be in all this kind of cool stuff. I like it a lot. It's fun. With so many people and so many creative uh, backgrounds, how do you decide where to take your songs, what direction to take them in? And I'm not going to let you pass this to somebody else. <laughs> yeah, I don't, really, uh, I don't really have much direction. I don't think I do. Um. But you have an idea behind how you want the songs to go. Yeah, not really. I just... Um, I'll just play something and then just let it go from there. I don't know. And see what they build on it? Um, no, not really. Is it kind of an organic thing? It's like... No, not organic. No, not even... Organic. I don't really know. Not Half the time I wake up and I think about some songs that we've done and I don't even know what I, where they came from. So I don't know if that's from me having a bad memory or just not really paying attention. Do you, do you he has a secret muse. He's not. He doesn't want to tell us. He doesn't tell any of us. It just comes out. <laughs> We've been doing some guesswork behind the scenes. Or whatever. I, I kind of have a suspicion that maybe he gets his inspiration from like alien robots or something. 
Well, yeah, that sounds like Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce Alexa. So this is Alexa. She plays the violin. She enjoys long walks around Town Lake. She enjoys horseback riding in Vascalinas, Texas. And um, she likes a, a guy that will respect her for her violin playing. <laughs> hey, this is Josh. Works at uh, Genuine Joe's Coffee Shop, and he plays the bass. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Amber, and she plays keys and trumpet and sings, and probably plays other instruments that I'm not aware of. <laughs> but I do. Yes. <laughs> Your turn. Um, this is Ben, he plays percussion. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kim, she knows how to play everything, including the cello. Which she plays beautifully, yeah. and that leaves you. Well, this is Daniela, she plays flute, and also has awesome glasses. Yes, she does. I'm really retro tripping on those glasses. I like them. Um, I guess I should introduce Nathan here. Oh, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to. Tell him something good, though. Something good? Yeah. All right, all right. But I don't really play anything. Yeah. What, what was it? I don't really play anything. Well, no, no, he plays everything. That's the thing. He's a composer. He's, uh, <laughs> the instruments he doesn't play with his hands, he plays in his mind. Tell him more about my personal life. Um, That's right. okay. He doesn't really have much of one. Um, That's fine. But uh, you can continue. <laughs> Where are you going now? Do you have a CD out? Do you have enough material for the CD? I know you've been talking about it and talking about it. Um, we play Stubbs November 6th. Um, this is actually the smallest that we've ever played, um, ever. It's always been between at least 11 and 15, sometimes 30, in the 20s. So this is a small ensemble, Stubbs, November 6th, and then we're going to record a little bit in December, and, um, you know, go on a couple European tours, something like that, to keep us busy. How many people are total in the orchestra? Right now, this is it. We're just a mini ensemble now. Okay. I'm trying to right. keep things... So November 6th at Stubbs, what time? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? All right, everybody, you heard it there. And I apologize, I am not the best cameraman. I'm all over with this thing. So understand, I also am a friend of Nathan's. Just forget all about it. It's a good representation to get nostrils. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for coming in. I appreciate it, and I love the music, and we're going to get it up online.